Hello everyone. Welcome back to today's topic of the day. Today, we'll be discussing about the historic breakthrough announced in the nuclear fusion. Now, the scientists have announced a major scientific breakthrough in the decades-long quest to harness nuclear fusion, the energy that powers the sun and stars. Now, the researchers at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California for the first time produced more energy in a nuclear fusion reaction than was used to ignite it. something called the net energy gain using powerful lasers to focus enormous energy on a miniature capsule scientists started reaction that produced about 1.5 times more energy than was contained in the light used to produce it now talking about the basics of fusion fusion a form of nuclear energy generated when light weight atoms fuse is the process at work in every star's core releasing an enormous amount of energy Researchers have been trying to harness fusion and reproduce it on Earth in a controlled manner. If they succeed, they will provide the world a safe, sustainable, environmentally responsible and abundant source of energy. Now let's understand the difference between fission and fusion. For more than 50 years, energy has been generated in nuclear power plants through fission. a process in which heavy elements such as uranium are bombarded by neutrons releasing heat in the process nuclear fusion on the other hand is based on the opposite principle in fusion reactors light atomic nuclei are compressed under intensive pressure and heat to form heavier ones and release energy in the process the process must be optimized to generate more energy than it consumes now let's see the main fuels used in the nuclear fusion are deuterium and tritium both heavy isotopes of hydrogen deuterium constitutes a tiny fraction of natural hydrogen only 00153% and can be extracted inexpensively from sea water tritium can be made from lithium which is also abundant in nature the amount of tritium present in 1 liter of water can in theory produce as much energy as the combustion of 300 liters of oil this means there is enough deuterium in the oceans to meet human energy needs for millions of years now let's see the ways to fusion The fuel made up of the hydrogen isotopes deuterium and tritium must be heated to about 100 million degrees centigrade. At that hotter than the sun temperature, a fully ionized gas plasma is formed. The plasma will then be ignited to create fusion. At present, scientists are pursuing two methods for achieving nuclear fusion: inertial and magnetic confinement. Not talking about the significance of nuclear fusion, if harnessed Nuclear fusion could produce nearly limitless carbon-free energy to supply humanity's electricity needs without raising global temperatures and worsening climate change. Now why is fusion so hard? There are decades more to wait before fusion could one day be used to produce electricity in the real world. Building a fusion power plant that can withstand the immense temperature and the pressures this process produces is one of the century's greatest engineering challenges. Fusion requires extreme precision the energy from the lasers must be applied precisely to counteract the outward force of the fusion fuel another challenge is to increase efficiency the lasers used at livermore require a lot of electrical energy and the researchers need to figure out a way to reproduce their results in a much more cost effective way now that was about the nuclear fusion let's take a practice question from this topic consider the statements regarding nuclear fusion reaction statement One, the main fuels used in nuclear fusion are deuterium and tritium, both heavy isotopes of hydrogen. Statement two: Tritium can be made from lithium, which is abundant in nature. Now, which of these statements given above are correct? You may take a moment and give your answer in the comment section below. Now, the correct answer is C. That is, both statement one and two are correct. I hope you liked the video and found the information useful. You may also check out our daily current affairs section on our website and for more such videos stay tuned to Next IS YouTube channel.